With the aid of a knee brace. The award for Outstanding Actor in a Musical goes to the unbreakable Andy Carr. There's these subtle differences every performance. There's something that you can question or something new you find or something uh, interesting you heard or watch. Unless you're a uh, replacement in Wicked, don't do anything uh, different. Thank you to the Outer Critics for this tremendous honor. Um, I will have it in my heart and on my resume forever. <laughs> the award for Outstanding Actress in a Play goes to Laura Linney for this. <laughs> it is sort of blowing my mind. So I, I need to thank the Outer Critics Circle for this, for this wonderful lunch. Um, also, if anyone had ever told me that I would ever receive an award for playing Regina for for the Little Foxes, I don't think I would have ever believed them. Um, it has been one of the great experiences of my life. Um, I need to thank the wonderful Manhattan Theater Club for making a home for me over the past two decades, and particularly um, for allowing us to explore this play in a very unusual way. I really have to thank Cynthia Nixon. enough and good enough to help me out every night and to inspire me every night and oh my god it's really a, a joy and a privilege and I, I will remember this for the rest of my life. Um, the award for outstanding featured actress in a featured role goes to Cynthia Nixon for the I've known Katie since she was 21, and she is just the greatest actress and the greatest person, and I think it's worth pointing out that her husband, Darren Goldstein, abuses Bertie eight times a week. <laughs> what, what, I, what I really love is Lillian Hellman is trying to say, it doesn't have to be such an ugly rat race, you know? There's enough to go around, and so to be doing a play that not just the words of the play deliver that message. There is there is enough for everybody if only we we don't have a fist like this but an open hand. Um, the award for outstanding set design goes to Mimi Lian for Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of the <laughs> I'm, I'm so thrilled and deeply honored to receive this award for our little show, which started out with 87 seats and is now in the Imperial Theater, right over there. The red walls and the pictures really make me feel right at home. <laughs> um, I'm grateful, so grateful that we've been able to grow and grow and share our show with an ever-expanding community. And he came up with unexpectedly haunting Exotic, exquisite sounds, his best score to date. This award comes with a check. Wow. $1,000. Which I will take 10% off. A bequest from the Marjorie Gunner Estate. Fortunately, we have this beautiful movie to use as a, uh, a guide. Uh, the band's visit, Aaron Kohlerin. And we had a great producer, Orrin Wolf, who, whose vision for this uh, was spot on from the beginning. Accepting the award for Outstanding New Bro Off-Broadway Play, our producer Todd Haynes for Roundabout Theatre Company and playwright Stephen Levinson for If I Forget. <laughs> I have to thank Todd Haynes, uh, who's given me an artistic home for the last 10 years, um, and who believed in this play uh, when I didn't. Um, and I have to thank uh, my agent, John Bozzetti, who told me last summer on the phone that I wasn't actually allowed to call Todd and tell him to cancel the play just because I was scared that people wouldn't like it. Um, uh, finally, I have to thank my wife, Whitney, uh, who's here with me today, who I told six years ago I had an idea for a play that was going to be about a family and Zionism and the Holocaust, and I had no idea how to write it, and she told me to write it anyway, so This year, the Gassner Award is presented to Best Boy as an extraordinary new American playwright and for her achievement in creating small mouth sounds. You know, Jerry Seinfeld created a show about nothing. Bess has created a play where the actors say nothing, but the play says a great deal. Um, to me, this award is particularly moving because it reminds me of how the things that we do in our lifetimes continue after we're gone. And. Uh, so I want to say first thank you to John Gassner for continuing to encourage and inspire today. Um, I also want to say thank you to the outer critics. Um, it's funny, my own inner critic um, has never done anything nice for me at all. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you.
outstanding new Broadway play, our producer Andre Bishop for Lincoln Center Theatre and playwright J.T. Rogers for us. I am here, uh, greatly excited, this because of Lincoln Center and because of Andre Bishop. Uh, to have a home, as every writer, every artist knows, is what differentiates between good work and better work, and uh, that has been provided to me in an extraordinary way. This play is only happening because Andre, without a page being written, com not only commissioned, but programmed this play before I had written the word. The award for outstanding costume design goes to Catherine Zuber. For her. Uh, musical was so wonderful because I got to design from the 30s into the 60s for two remarkable women uh, played by two amazing performers, the wonderful Patty Lupone and Christine Eversole. And uh, to work under the direction of the wonderful Michael Greif and my fellow designers, David Corner and Kenny Posner, and our wonderful creators. Um, thank you so much for the